All right, so I am going to show you how to get your objects off of your um, photographs and into one file. This file that I have is 12 inches wide by 18 inches tall, and it has 300 PPI. I also named it um, with the year, the title of the project, and then my name. You'll notice too that I have each of these labeled that are already in this file. So I'm going to show you how to get your objects out now. You're going to start off by going to File and then Open. You're going to click on the thing that you want to pull out. So I'm going to click on this cicada one here and open it up. After you open it up, go through the image and do some quick adjustments to it. I'm going to go ahead and bring the brightness and contrast up. And I'm going to do a quick save. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to do some selections. So you can do quick selection, magic wand, um, one thing to note is Magic Wand is a color selection tool, so it's going to select the color that is closest and all the pixels that are closest to the color that you clicked on. Um, Control D will be select. You can also go to select, deselect. You can see right there, Control D. Um, you could also do quick selection tool and you can follow the video for how to quickly select something and then refine your edge a little bit more. Um, also, if say you accidentally select an area that you don't want to select, you'll notice um, that if I hold down Alt, it will do a minus and then you can deselect area. You can also go up to the little buttons up here. You can click on them and deselect that way. Um, and select all that stuff. And then, like I said, control D, deselect. And then the last one on here, it's a really cool one, but it does slow down your computer tremendously. So you can go down to object selection tool and you'll see that it will, this will start to rotate and it will look for the objects. Now mine are already found on here and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the one that I want. When I click on it, it'll take a minute, but then it will select it. You'll see like a little um, zebra striped line that goes around it. There it is. And now I can go to select and mask. I'm actually going to go out of object selection tool because it slows my computer down so significantly to quick selection and then select and mask. And hopefully it lets me, there we go. Sometimes it boots me out and says my scratch discs are full. So <laughs> I don't think that's a problem right now, but we'll see. So um, right now the setting is onion skin, but you can do lots of different things. And you can see here that I can see the other things that are, aren't selected and I can actually make those go away if I want to. Um, in the other video, it tells you how to use um, these tools to refine the edge a little bit more. So if you have hair or, or some sort of like really crazy selection, you're welcome to use any of these tools to brush, to quick select. There's even an object selection tool here there's a lot you can do nowadays through Photoshop that makes this process so much easier. Um, so there's the global refinements. You can do, uh, these will do different things uh, to the edge of your selection. You can even shift the edge in a little bit if you want. Um, just keep in mind that if you feather, um, it's gonna give you a little bit of a blurred edge, which sometimes is what you want, right? Um, and then we have output settings. You can decontaminate the colors, which means like if you have a blue background, for example, 
and blue got into this. Um, you can decontaminate those colors here by clicking on this. And what it does is it will select um, the more common colors and replace the colors that don't belong. Now, the last thing, most important thing is how you output it. You want to output this to a new layer. When I output it to a new layer, what's going to happen is when I press OK, you will see that it will be its own layer and then everything else is gone. It's not gone. It's still there. One thing you want to keep in mind whenever you are working is you do not want to harm the original file. So by selecting and masking, the original file is still safe. I haven't done anything to it. All I've done was pulled out the one I wanted. Now, there's a few ways that you can move this. You can reselect it, right? And an easy way to reselect it is to use the magic wand tool, select the background, then go to select inverse or shift control I, and it'll just select your object. You can copy it and then paste it in here, right? That's one way. Um, another way, let me deselect really fast, is to actually grab it, go into the other file, and then drop it. And there you go. My cicada is now in there, and I'm going to label it cicada. Always make sure you label your files so that you do not end up with a bunch of random files that you don't want. You don't know which one's which, what have you. All right. So... There you have it. That's how you select and mask and move. If you have any questions, I strongly suggest you consult the Adobe Photoshop user guide and maybe even look up some videos on YouTube. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something.